What's your name again? I can't seem to find you in Who's Who. You're definitely not of the Great Northern Flicker Woodpeckers. Are you sure you're not of the Hampton Woodpeckers? One of the oldest families in the city? They eat here all the time. I don't know. I'm just a common woodpecker. Look, I brought my money. Can't I just eat something? I'm starving. Let's see. Common woodpecker. It's got to be in here somewhere. Common woodpecker. Common woodpecker. Common... Common woodpecker? Shave only doesn't serve anything or anyone common. <laughs> Imagine that, a common woodpecker trying to eat a shave Ali. Hmm. My money! <laughs> so I'm not rich enough, huh? Wow, did you see that? <laughs> I say, is that who I think it is? Oh, yes, it's Lord Crinkle. You mean the Lord Crinkle? Yeah, it's Lord Crinkle, the famous polo player. The famous rich polo player. Rich, get it? Yomping yiminy. It's Lord Crinkle, the famous rich polo player. <laughs> Lord Crinkle here. That's Lord Crinkle of the Oxford Crinkles. Uh, do be good and give us a menu. There's a good chap. My, you're thin for a meat Uh, Lord Crinkle, I'm over here. Huh? Did somebody say something? <laughs> uh, who said that? I did, Lord Crinkle. Huh? Over here, Lord Crinkle. Huh? Where? Where? Who is this? No, now stay still, whoever you are. <laughs> Lord Crinkle, can I show you to a table? Uh, a table? What are you doing down there? How do you expect to run a restaurant from the floor? Please, Lord Crinkle, let me show you to a table. A table? Oh, no, 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 dear boy, I couldn't do that. I'm here to scout out the restaurant for the Duke. The Duke? Yes, the Duke. He'll be here in a minute. Good evening, uh, Mr. Duke. Is this restaurant clean? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's clean. We'll see about that. Fork? <laughs> Look at this filth. Now clean that fork. I think it's clean now, Duke. Still dirty. I've got it this time. Like this? Nope. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present Her Royal Majesty, the Queen! The Queen? The Queen! <gasps> Here comes the Queen! Oh, royalty! Big money! Ooh, the Queen! <laughs> Welcome to Shave Oli, Your Majesty. Ooh, you may kiss my hand. <laughs> now you may kiss the royal foot. that 
you are one of the select few who has kissed the royal foot. Um, have you food? Mr. Walrus. Appetizer? That was an appetizer? Uh, yes. I'll be ready for my dinner after I pay you the proper respects. Mr. Walrus, you may kneel. Kneel? You mean... <clears throat> knighthood? Your Majesty. I dub thee Sir Sweat of Walrus. I'm ready for my second course now. <coughs> Why, you woodpecker! <laughs> <laughs> I dub you the freeloader. <laughs> I dub you Sir Mooch. <laughs> I dub you Sir Loop. I dub you Sir Slacker! <laughs> and now, as the bread rises, a show so big, it starts on Channel 1 and ends on Channel 22. Right after a word from our sponsor. Are you cold? Hungry? Do you long to be someplace warm and tropical? Then you need a Mexican cruise! <gasps> Tickets start at only $4,000! Welcome, passenger. Can I have your ticket stub? Then get! I have never had a stowaway sneak past me. And I ain't about to start now. Nachos, check. Saudi pop, check. Sardines. Check, mate. Game over. Captain, I am inspecting in eagle-eye fashion any luggage that looks suspicious-like. Don't have to open. Don't have to open. Don't have to open. And some you just don't want to open. <laughs> Some itches they just don't have a cream for. I am being demoted to deckhand. 
But, Captain, sir... Mm. Now listen here. You may have fooled the captain, you little ice monkey, but I am the sharpest hook in this here tackle box and... <laughs> ah! That critter has got to go. Yeah! <laughs> Got you. Demoted to pool boy. But Captain, sir. <laughs> Pass with caution. This vehicle makes wide turns. I'm gonna get that little penguin off this here cruise if it's the most lasting thing I ever... Huh? No, you don't, you freeloading feedback. <laughs> Be motion to waiter. Now hold on one ice picking minute. The captain's the only one that can do that around here. Bus boy. I have never let a stowaway get away this away. I'll bag the little critter and give him a firework spectacular he'll never forget to remember. I know, I'm being demoted. To anchor. Out you go, silly little woodpecker. Oh, 
Okay, enough with the funny. I need to have my sleep. Poor little woodpecker. He has fallen from his nest. Nighty night, woodpecker. <laughs> Looks like we're both up, huh? Oh well, I might as well have a late night snack. Hmm. Oh, let's see. There's cheese, and ham, and pickles, and tomatoes, and a little bit of onion. Oh, joy. I just can't wait to sink my tusks into this sandwich. <gasps> oh, what? Where's the... But... Hmm. I don't even remember eating all that stuff. Ooh. I better get some sleep. My mind is going all kerplunky. <laughs> Ah, the boy, come and get it. Who is yangling my bell? Night mailman. I don't know of any night mail. Special delivery. Jumping Jupiter, just what I need. Like a boat more than a fjord. <laughs> no more sleepless nights for me, Woodpecker. <sighs> Some weirdo digging up my lawn. No, I don't know who it is. Just come and get them out of here. Hmm. Hmm. What is going on here? Aha! Food baker. So you're the weirdo trench digger. All right, buddy, let's go downtown. Ooh, that sounds lovely. Uh, at least it's nice and quiet here. I can be getting the rest I need. By me? <laughs> 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 
don't go away. I'll be back soon with another cartoon. <laughs> Why I lie for you, I cheat for you, wash your garments a lot. Why should I have to do your dirty work? Because I'm a buzzard, which gives me the right to boss little boys like you around. That's why. Where do I sign up to beat the champ? Why, right here, my good sap. I, I mean, sir. Of course, there is a nominal entrance fee of $5 that entitles you a chance to beat me, the champ. Hmm. Aw, oh, shoot. I seem to be a tad short. Do you suppose I might use my fine automobile as an entrance fee? Buddy, you got yourself a contest. <laughs> Ha! Too bad. You left a 7-10 split. You'll never get that. What? That's impossible. But not improbable. <laughs> Oh, look! The space shuttle! Where? I don't see the space shuttle. Huh? Say, what kind of an alley is this? That was a perfect shot! Perhaps you need corrective lenses. to see what I'm seeing. <laughs> I think there's some cheating going on. <laughs> what? <laughs> now that's a split. <laughs> Ooh, you're not doing so good. Chalk me down for another... <laughs> Steerike!
like. But to late, pal, Buzz Buzzard is still champion. And that four-wheeled beauty out front is all mine! <laughs> Come on, Tweaky. You and me are off like 30 pounds on a grapefruit diet. <laughs> reward. Larceny, robbery, unlawful toenail clips. Why that no good thief and cheat? Hello, operator, get me the police. That's right, officer, the Buzz Buzzard. He's here at the bowling alley. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Officer, he's wanted for cussing. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, huh? Uh huh. For littering, for jaywalking, for bouncing checks, for petty larceny, fraud, for bank robbery. Yeah, well, that's really swell, pal, but we're pretty busy here with serious cases right now, and, uh. But, officer, he's parked in a red zone. What? <laughs> it's not how it looks. Step out of the vehicle, sir. <laughs> it's not my fault. I was just. <laughs> Maybe I didn't make myself clear. I said, step out of the vehicle! You have the right to shut your big yap. If you waive your right to shut your big yap, it may be shut for you. So long. Thanks for the reward. See ya. Hate to be ya. <laughs> Wildlife for my wildlife show. Yes, Helga. Anything you say, Helga. <sighs> hmm. Someday the star will say Monty, host of Monty's Magical Wildlife Show. But not today. The pie's particularly good today. Hold on. You're a wildlife. Nothing's wilder than a penguin. Penguins just love fishies, and this will be the perfect bait. Life is so gullible. Helga! Helga! I got me a penguin! And it's got a little hat! I like that! Let's shoot it! Money! 
back in a flash. The gumbo's decidedly delish. Hold on there! Well, good thing I didn't recommend the sampler tray. Oops. Get the penguin. Forget the penguin. Let me make this easy for you, okay? Get me the polar bear! Offer him anything he wants. All the food he can eat. Just get him on the show! Or you're fired! <laughs> I could host a better wildlife show than Hollywood Helga any day. Sorry, Penguin. Helga wants the polar bear. No can do, Penguin. The polar bear got the nod for Helga's show. You know, you are one persistent little penguin. I'd put you on my show, if I had one. That's right, you'd get a TV contract and all the food you could eat. Why, that's downright Machiavellian, Penguin. You'll go places in Hollywood, I can tell. everything myself. <laughs> this is Helga's Wilderness Show. Today we'll meet a polar bear up close and personal. <laughs> Monty! So long, Helga. Hello, Monty's Wildlife Show. <laughs> Today, Monty's magical wilderness show will visit a very special penguin at home in his most comfortable setting. There's nothing like a barbecuing neighbor. Say, Wally! <gasps> you stay away from me, Woodpecker. This is my barbecue. <laughs> Dial prank phone. It's the next best thing to eating there. Oh, fur. Hello? Hello? Who's this? Woodpecker, get out of my yard! Gee, Wally, I don't think your phone goes that far. <laughs> Let's do lunch again real soon, Wally. <laughs> are you annoyed by a woodpecker who constantly troubles you to your wit's end? Of course you are. And does he look like this? Yeah, you bet. That's the guy, all right. Right there. I thought so. Well, have you tried... The silent treatment? Well, I guess Apparently not. Apparently not, Einstein. Many have tried and many have failed. But 
the new Dr. Doug Nuts technique really works. Yeah? Well, I'll believe it when I see it. Oh, a skeptic, eh? Well, let's see the doctor illustrate the technique. So, Dr. Nuts, how's it going? I said, how's it going? Yeah, I'm not saying a word. <gasps> it really works. See? This, too, can be you for only 17 payments of $39.95. Hello, Nutco Inc.? Yeah, send over a silent treatment right away. <gasps> oh, boy. Silent treatment instructional audio. The silent treatment. Well, I wonder what's on the old agenda for today. I think I'll play golf today. Or... Darn flowers, how's a guy supposed to golf? Hmm, this tree's right in the way of my shot. Well, I'm not a woodpecker for nothing. <laughs> Don't forget rule number 17. Uh, I'm not saying a bird. Atta boy! Ah! Wally's gonna be mad. Better not let on I was playing golf. Uh, gee, uh, what happened, Wally? I, I heard a big crash. Uh, <laughs> uh, lucky the tree didn't fall on you. It's not that big a deal, right? <laughs> okay, okay, I admit it. It was me, Wally. But I'm good for it. Not now, but I'm good for it. Later. Oh, so it's the silent treatment, eh? Well, we'll just see about that, Buster. I'll break you, or I'm not fit to call myself a woodpecker. you down? Is it a problem with your neighbor? Is this walrus giving you the silent treatment? And does he look like this? It's him! I thought so. Then what you need is Dr. Doug Nutt's anti-silent treatment technique. Ah, oh, pshaw. Go peddle your papers. Oh, another wise guy, eh? Well, I'll just let the doctor illustrate the technique. Say hello, doctor. Oh, Dr. Nuts. <clears throat> knock, knock. Knock, knock. I said, knock, knock. Who's there? <gasps> I'm not saying a word. It works. That's right. For just 17 easy payments of $39.95, you'll get a reward-winning book of 1,001 knock-knock jokes guaranteed to break anyone's silent treatment or even their will to live. Ah, phooey. Who needs a book? I got a thousand and two knock-knock jokes right here in the old bean. <sighs> Ain't it swell? I'm finally rid of the woodpecker. Oh, no, you're not. Hey, 
Wally, how's about a couple of words for your old buddy? Knock, knock. <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> <laughs> Superstar is just about to break the world's record. Oh, goody goody. I love skiing, yeah. Nothing in the world gives me so much joy. <gasps> what do you think you are doing? Wondering who would watch an old fashioned sport like skiing. Hey, was watching it. Oh, so you're old fashioned. Get your hands off of me. You better watch it, Woodpecker. Skiing is the sport of my fatherland. Ah, uh, more like the sport of your grandfatherland. Snowboarding's where it's at. Yeah, well, skiing's the greatest sport. Snowboarding. Skiing. I still say snowboarding's the best. Can't decide on the best method to get down a frozen mountain? Then you should sign up for the Inertiathon, the all-out freestyle race to the bottom of Mount Incline Plain. It's the downhill experience of a lifetime. What's in it for you? Well, the first to reach the bottom wins 50 bucks, a year's supply of cornmeal, and a firm handshake. This will settle it once and for all, you bet. I challenge you to the race. You're on. Well, here we are with two contestants who hope to settle the debate of which is better. Ski! Snowboarding! <laughs> Although there's some folk who stick to the old standby to bargaining. Hiya, buddy. So oh, bargaining. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess this little difference of opinion will be settled on the slopes. Racers to your marks. Hey, Wally, your boot's untied. Hold my poles, Bootpacker. Get set! Bootpacker, my poles. Here you go. Some ski bags. If he wants to stick to skiing, I'll make him stick, but good. This glue will do the trick. <laughs> skiing, I will go. Skiing, I will go. I will beat the woodpecker and make him eat my snow. Show them a thing or two. Ah! Oof! Oh. Well, at least I landed safely. Whoa. Sure showed that too, Planker. Thanks, pal. Oh. 
<laughs> Let's see Wally get through that. Oh, ogly, mogly. Moguls are my specialty. <laughs> Woodpecker! See you later, Wally. <laughs> ah, hello? This is Wally. Remember that favor you said you owed me? Well, I want the woodpecker taken care of. You know what I mean? Consider it done. Mm -hmm. Swedish meatballs. Time to meet your maker, Voidpecker. Get it? Meet your maker. <laughs> I crack myself up sometimes. Oh my gosh! Swedish Hitman! Oh yeah? Bye bye. <laughs> Goody, there's the finish line. Another great toboggan victory! How does tobogganing compare with skiing and snowboarding? I told you! World's greatest sport is tobogganing! Nothing higher! Nothing closer to perfection! How many times do I have to tell you? Can you people get a three reds? Tobogganing rules! Oh, it's my purpose in life. We search for the truth behind the legendary fur bearing trout. This week on Apparently We Don't Know. Fact, fiction, or just really bad fashion statement? Apparently, we don't know. Because of its hairy hide, the fur-bearing trout is only found in cold climates. It could be in northern Canada, the Arctic Circle, or even outside an igloo. Research shows the fur-bearing trout feeds on clothing to support his own fur. <laughs> the fur-bearing trout feeds on clothing to support its own fur. <laughs> Yeah, it's all fun and games till somebody loses an eye with these things. Oh, and uh, thanks for the hat, bub. You gotta watch your hygiene there, bub. There's critters living down here. Can I help you there, bub? I got a business to run here. You gave up all rights to that hat when you used it for bait to try and catch me. I can't be giving it back. This ain't no lost and found. What is it now? Mom! What are you?
you doing in there? <laughs> this little guy's really starting to get under my gills. That's the problem with this business. It's all laundry. Whites, darks, dry cleaning. A trout's work is never done. Trout season's over, kid. Didn't you get the memo? What a mess. Hey! Five bucks! Are you nuts? This is a genuine... Whoa! some people. Listen, Beb. I need this coat in order to run my business here. Well, since saps like you think I'm the fur-bearing trout, they try to bait me with all these items of clothing. This coat is the key to the clothing empire you see before you. Without this coat, I'm just some old trout heading upstream for a good time. So, you're gonna have to stick to your own gig, bub, and leave me to mine. See you around, small fry. And action! We thought for sure his fur amongst all this snow would make him stick out like a sore thumb. But apparently, we didn't know. Huh? Listen, bub. I thought I told you to scram. Doug Nuts is here with his film crew to shoot an expose that will broadcast tonight on an exclusive pay-per-view that will air all around the world. Operators are standing by to take your order. If they find me, I'll be ruined for sure. You know what they do to fur baron trout imposters? Well, it ain't pretty. You gotta help me, little buddy. Come on, what can I do? The coat, you're right, the coat. Take it and get out of here. Just take it, and some of these long johns too. I'll be back though. They can't keep Lefty the Trout out of the clothing business forever, no matter what the law says. So far, no sign of the little devil. But wait, what's that? It can't be. Ladies and gentlemen, thought to be extinct since before the Jurassic era, it's the fur-bearing penguin. Oh, uh, Mr. Penguin, wait. We'd like to ask you a few questions there. M Mr. Penguin? Hello? Come on, crew. Hello? Stay on uh, him. Stay there. A Keep a me word, focused. Please, Mr. Penguin. We'll get a reverse Penguin. angle later on. Please. Order. Order in the court. Now, Mr. Woodpecker. Please tell us precisely what happened on the day in question. Well, there I was, Your Honor, sitting on the bench waiting for the bus. When along comes Mr. Inconsiderate and plops his oversized you-know-what right on top of me. He then threw me headlong into a tree. Luckily, a doctor witnessed the whole thing and offered his professional advice immediately. Have you recently been involved in an accident that could cause you pain and suffering for years to come? Call me. You may just get yourself a huge settlement. And that is the whole truth, Your Honorship, sir. Mr. Walrus, I hereby sentence you to nurse the plaintiff, Mr. Woodpecker, back to health. 
In order to ensure that you comply with the letter of the law, I appoint this man to keep tabs on you. You please the mole, or it's life in prison. Are you okay, my little bird friend and pal? Wally will take good, good care of you. There you go. Is there anything I can do for you, my little woodpecker friend and pal of mine? Wally, would you fluff my pillow? There. Is that better? <laughs> there we are, little friend and pal. Is there anything else that I might do for you? Well, now that you mention it, Wally, I had my doctor prepare a little list. Fresh mahi mahi? Why, that's preposterous. Oh, Wally! Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mahi Mahi isn't in season for another week, yeah. I'll have it flown in from Maui. The feuds flew the top. Magazines, food trays, big screen TV, stereo with their CD player, hot tub. That's it. Enough of this molly coddling business. There. <laughs> this should look good at your sentencing. <laughs> As the Grand Prize is almost on. I just need a glass of water. Oh. Ah. Wally! Yump and Yemeni. Why don't you wait a moment, you big. Wally, how's about a lullaby to put me to sleep? <sighs> Okie dokie, Woody. Wally, I need something a little more soothing. Mm, maybe a little more classical, Wally. Now, uh, play them all together, Wally. Please? Wally, it's too dark in here. Wally, move the bed closer to the TV. Uh, Wally, it's too bright in here. Wally! Okay, buddy. Will that be all for now, Mr. Woodpecker, sir? Mm-hmm. If you should need anything else, simply pull this cord and I'll be here in a yiffy. Now I must go to sleep. Night, Wally. Don't go far. I may need a neck rub. <laughs> sleep. Hey, walrus, your snoring is keeping me awake. Will you go sleep someplace else? Oh, oh and bring me a glass of tepid milk, please. Wally? Wally, what's the matter? Hey, Wally, what's the matter?
So, Dr. Nuts, the whole thing was a fraud. Well, apparently I was not aware that the little fellow was faking it. But, Your Honorship, sir, I, I assure you I... Silence! In light of this evidence, I have no choice but to sentence you, Mr. Woodpecker, to nurse this poor, helpless creature back to health. <laughs>